I heard somewhere that it takes one second to say the word elephant. If that's the case, you could say we're out here chasing elephants. I first met Lee here on the track six years ago. He wanted to learn to race. So being the fast guy at the track, I taught him to. Half of my goal is to keep the car running. The other half is to keep Lee running. We're out on the track almost every day. The days we're not, we're in the shop. We almost never stop tuning, tweaking, and inventing new ways to go faster. It's not all that surprising we found ourselves out here what used to be called the tinkerer's class. So what does it take to catch an elephant? Squeezing 241 horses out of a 1600cc engine. A touch more downforce. Higher exhaust compression. Softer compounds. Harder compounds. We can tweak Lee's car all day. But the biggest difference to lap times is what happens in Lee's head. Traveling 160 miles an hour in a 928 pound car should put a lot on your mind. If you get it right, it empties it of everything except for what really matters. A little faster. Yeah, a little faster. This is when you really catch elephants. Okay, 101, I'm gonna bring it in. I copy that. If you're looking at the wall and thinking about what's behind it, all that stuff will come back and get you. But if you keep focused on the next corner's exit, chances are you'll find an elephant at the end of the track. I'd like to say coming out here is all part of a grand plan to get rich and famous. Or there was some big, worthy, zen reason for it all. The truth is it's a lot simpler than that. We're here because we're shaving seconds. We're here because we're chasing elephants.